Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I've got a bracelet tutorial for you. It's been a while since we've actually done a bracelet tutorial. This one is from Reddit. Somebody was asking for help on how to make this bracelet, and I think I figured it out. It's a cordless bracelet, so it uses a couple pieces of cordless and one piece of regular 550. But for colors, we've got three feet of both orange and woodland camo, and then four feet of emerald green. All of these are cordless now. And then we have a regular emerald green, about two and a half more feet for the core of the bracelet. So with that, let's dive in. All right, so this is gonna be a knot and loop closure on the bracelet. The one on Reddit used a button, uh, switching it up a little bit from that. The core might be different, but the weave is the same. So this regular 550 cord, we're just gonna fold that in half like we already have it. And we'll be tying a knot in the end of it I'm going to do a diamond knot, but honestly, a simple overhand knot would be just fine too if you find the, the diamond knot too complicated. So for now, we're just going to leave it folded, and we're going to be starting our weave up here. So we've got the middle of our normal paracord as our core, then we're going to take the coreless emerald green, put that on the back, stack our other two together, the orange and the woodland camo, and put that on the front of the bracelet. These are gonna be our center colors that you see weaving back and forth, and this is gonna be the base color. So if you're doing different colors, just kind of keep that in mind. And we're kind of doing a cold start here with all three of the ends, so we need to anchor that in place. So what we're gonna do is take that green one from the back, bring it down over the top, around the back, up to here, down again. I wanna make sure that we don't lose those ends and then kind of snug that down. So pull on all the ends. Our top two colors here are just going straight through like that. We want those stacked together like that. So the flat side is just like that. Okay, so now we can go into our normal Cobra weave. So kind of pull everything tight and this is going to be our cord that goes over the top, so we're going to fold it over this way. So the orange was on bottom, it's just being folded up inside of there, so the orange is now on top. Top, meaning this direction, I guess. And then we're going to take our green cord, keeping that flat, bring it down over the top, around the back, and then up through this colored loop. So that was kind of a lot to hold on to all at once. But basically it's just this colored cords weaving back and forth on the top and then the green doing most of the rest of the work. So we're gonna tighten that down now and then I'll kind of go into more detail on how to make that look right. Because it matters how you fold them when we're using cordless paracord. First of all, we can just slide this up a little bit farther. We only need about enough room to get our finger through. About like that. So now, next knot, going from the other side, we're folding this cord over the top again. So that's gonna be upright this whole time. So it's, if our bracelet is going this way, these are stacked vertically on top. And this one, we want that nice flat side to be showing on top. And then we'll bend it around this way, kind of a fold there, and bring this other side up through. So while we're doing the same knots with both cords, um, just like a regular Cobra bracelet, we really have to pay attention to those folds to make this one turn out right. So now if we flip this around back, on the back side you see our green just laying down flat, which is different from how our stacked ones are sitting upright. So we're going to do a couple more of those knots so you can see how it looks, and then you can check your work against it. So if your work isn't turning out quite like this, it may be because you're tightening it down a little bit uneven. Um, on this one, you really don't want to tighten down the green cord very hard, as that'll pull the, the cord into the core of the bracelet and kind of flatten it out. And we do want it to stick upright so that you see both of those colors down the middle. So you can pull these ones pretty tight, but you want to leave this a little bit loose. So make one more knot. You can pull those two colors you know, pretty tight so that it's weaving back and forth across the top. But then we just want to snug this down just enough to keep it in place. 
we pull it tighter, then we kind of get it, some unevenness and one color starts to bury the other in the middle. So we'll finish that off and then I'll show you how to do the diamond knot at the end. So there we go. That's enough to fit around my wrist. It's just so that the loop meets the end of the weave there. Um, but you know, feel free to change that up for however you want it to fit. And then I still have some cord here to make that knot. Before I do that, I'm going to finish off the ends. So you know how I was saying, don't tighten it too much down here. I do want to pull this first knot nice and tight. Otherwise, it kind of tends to slide around on the, the middle. So I've pulled those knots tight, and now I'll melt those. There we go. And the green, I'm just going to tuck that back around behind. So just loosen my last green knot and slip that underneath. And then tighten down that knot extra well too. Now all three colors are in the same place and I can melt those too. So then for the diamond knot, if you haven't made this before, um, this is probably not a lot of cord to make it in. Uh, but I didn't want to be too wasteful. You can make the diamond knot ahead of time too, and then just as you're making this, you can adjust where it sits, you know, slide it down to the end of your knot, or to the end of your cord or whatever. But I think this will be just enough to make it. I won't do it in my hand this time. So usually it's one cord across, make a loop and flip that up. This is probably kind of hard to see on camera. I have a separate tutorial on how to do this knot if this isn't clear. So one cord across, that loop over the top, and this piece of the loop should be going over our working end. Got some twists in there that I want to take care of. There we go. And then taking this longer cord down here, bring it underneath that cord, and then we're just going to tuck it underneath this middle cord here. So over the top of this, underneath the next one and out on top. So we've got that little pretzel. That's a Carrick bend. I'm going to take it off my fingers. Take this cord. Make sure you go past this cord connecting it to the bracelet and then up through the middle. And we'll do the same one with this cord here. Pass the other cord connecting it to the bracelet and up through. Like that and then we can tighten it down by just kind of gently pulling on all ends. And it's not going to tighten down quite in the right place. So then we're going to have to go back and find where each cord goes through the, the knot and just pull the slack through until it comes out the end. And that's about how much space we want below the knot, just enough for this loop to sit around it. So we can clip the end here and do the same as we did with all the other ends. There we go, the three color coreless Cobra bracelet. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys, especially those of you that are coming here from Reddit trying to figure out this bracelet. If you're new here at Paracord Planet, be sure to stick around. We put out videos twice a week, so subscribe if you want to be notified of those. We're also a Paracord store, so we have over 600 colors of Paracord in our store, along with related hardware and things. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. We'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>